Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you one of the most fundamental and most important skills you can learn in Rocket League. And that is the ground to air dribble, as you see here. One of the most effective tools for scoring in any game at any rank. Let me teach you how to do it. Alright guys, I'm going to keep this as simple as I can for you. Four steps, very simple, very easy. First one is going to be getting your first jump. Second one is going to be getting your second jump. Third one is going to be getting the height that you want. And the fourth one is going to be adding spins and rotations. Okay. First step. Get the ball on top of your car. And then you're going to want to get it kind of on the center. You're going to want to jump and tilt the front of your car up into the air. Nothing complicated. Very simple. That is how you should pretty much start every single air dribble. You want to make sure the ball is almost directly above your car. If you can get it like that. And that is going to be your starting position. Once you've got that done, you can think about adding in your second jump. And you're going to do that by doing exactly as you did before. This time, you're going to jump twice. Now you can do this in quick succession. Don't leave too much of a delay between the two jumps. Jump, and then jump again. And then try and get one or two touches on it before you lose control of the ball, alright? Don't think about air dribbling yet. Just one or two touches, just like that. Try and follow it when you get a double jump. Don't worry if it's far forward. Don't worry if it's going up into the sky. Just try and get that, those two jumps in and follow the ball once or twice. Now the third step, getting the height that you want. Now this is where you have to think about where the ball is in your car. In order to get the desired height, you want it to be almost center in your car. You're going to want to double jump, make sure you're underneath the ball and start taking it up towards the ceiling. Don't try and shoot, don't try and take it towards the goal, just try and take it up to the ceiling. Try not put it behind you, you can help it. Makes the camera a bit wonky. But just try and get that height on it. Again, don't backflip, but don't worry about scoring either. Just up to the ceiling, try and get it as high as you can, bring as many touches. Focus on height. Center of your car, and then take it up as high as you can. Just like that. And then once you start to be able to control it, you can think about, once you've got that height, kind of let the ball level out in front of your car, and then start pushing it towards the goal. Just get behind it, push it towards the goal. More often than not, you can hit it up, let the ball fall a little, and then start pushing it from behind towards the goal. Again, push it up to the ceiling. Let the ball fall. And then start pushing it forward once it levels out in front of your car. The last thing I'm going to talk about uh, to do with actually learning the mechanic is adding in rotations. Now this is used, well I do it, by uh, using arrow left and right. And um, most high level players use this to make adjustments in the air. And this is these spins that you see more often than not. And uh, yeah, it's used to kind of move the ball around different ways, get around the ball and take it in a different angle than you would normally in a straight line. So in order to do this, you're going to want to double jump and just hold air roll right or left. Don't worry about actually taking the ball exactly where you want it just now. Just try and get a few touches in by holding air roll right or left. You're going to lose control after one or two touches, but just get that basic movement down. I'm not doing anything else than what we said before, or from holding arrow right. One or two touches. Okay, and then when you get behind the ball like that, start screwing around with your left stick. A good place to start is the 10 o'clock position, and then work your way around from there and try and move it in different ways. Double jump, arrow right, 10 o'clock, and then move the stick around to try and get used to the different movements when you're using arrow right. And soon you'll be able to find yourself losing control of it. But you'll probably get quite a few touches in before you do. And the more you learn, you might actually find yourself being able to curve the ball around and actually aim it in the top corner, just like that. And kind of get a little bit more room for movement in the air. Instead of being stuck in a static position, which is easily readable by your opponent. 
Okay, now very quickly, the last thing I'll talk about is the most common position to use this mechanic in a game. And this is when the enemy is playing ping pong. And when they hit it towards you or boom it into your half. Now you'll find a lot of the time, no matter what rank you are, people just hit the ball and smack it into the opposing half. The granted air dribbles are fantastic for taking advantage of this. So when they pass you the ball, just as it bounces, you pop it up into the air like that. All right, wait for the bounce, double jump, and then fly up and try and follow the ball into the enemy net. Very common position to find yourself in, and this is the best way to take advantage of it because you're not giving away possession either, and that is very, very important. You're forcing the enemy to react to your play and not just giving away possession. In this scenario, you at least get 150, or you at least get past one person, as long as you actually pull off the ground air dribble. So, again, go for bounce. All the ball. Alright guys, hope this was helpful in uh, aiding you in learning this mechanic. If it was, hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. This whole series is about doing mechanics in under 5 minutes, so if you'd like to check out anything else and try and learn anything else, be sure to check the videos out. And uh, yeah, take it easy guys, enjoy yourselves and good luck with your games.